Hey everybody, and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic, eventually. Since it's getting close to Halloween, I decided I wanted to open up a spooky toy, but also nostalgic. So I grabbed this that I picked up a little while back, Scooby-Doo and the Skeleton Man. Now I was really fond of the Scooby-Doo cartoon, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, when I was a kid. And this was a really good rendition of it that I could see, you know, so I decided to pick it up and I can't wait to get into this one. Here we have the Walmart exclusive 50 year anniversary Scooby-Doo and the Skeleton Man. And this was modeled after the Scooby-Doo Where Are You series that I really enjoyed as a kid. It was a fun mystery filled with seemingly supernatural villains, but the detectives would always roll into town trying to help the locals and find out that what was supernatural wasn't really. It was just a man in a mask. On the back of the package here you see Scooby-Doo chases ghosts and ghouls with the rest of Mystery Incorporated, but he'd much rather be keeping, much rather keep busy with a Scooby snack his best friend Shaggy, and you can usually find both of them either running away from a monster or snacking on a double-decker sandwiches in the back of the mystery machine. In this box, it also includes a skeleton man who is one of three spooky skeletons that haunt a seemingly deserted island near the Bermuda Triangle. The skeleton man is a master at hijacking planes and making them disappear. I remember pieces of that episode from when I was a kid. So it'll be fun to finally get this out of the box. As always, be careful when using a knife. Just going to cut the tape off the top of the package here. Slide it right in there. Let me see if we can get them out of this plastic easy enough. Okay, when I saw these in the store, I thought I had to pick them up because they looked a lot like the cartoon that I watched as a kid. And we didn't really have toys for Scooby-Doo back then. Well, I didn't. I don't know, I'm not sure if they made them or not, but these are pretty good. Pretty good looking. Made a pretty tough plastic and pretty articulate. Stands up nicely. Let's check out the skeleton man here with his big eye. Has skeleton bone arms, but strange looking monster hands, strange looking monster toes. More articulated than I imagined it would be. Stands up nice enough. Scooby-Doo and the Skeleton Man. And where would Scooby be without Shaggy close behind? Here is the Walmart exclusive Scooby-Doo. Shaggy and the Headless Horseman. Shaggy 
is the goofiest, most chicken-hearted, and hungriest member of Mystery Incorporated. He might run at the first sign of danger, but when it comes to helping Scooby and his friends, he's always ready to step in. The Headless Horseman Many years ago, the Headless Horseman was a soldier who had his head knocked off by a cannonball before he was buried in Sleepy Hollow. Every Halloween, he rises from the grave to look for a new head, and lately he seems to be interested in the Crane Family Diamond. Let's get into this one. Please be careful using a knife. Slide these out of here. Shaggy Rogers. He always loved his Scooby Snacks. Which didn't really make much sense to me when I was a kid. Because I wasn't really sure if it was a dog treat that a guy liked or was it a people treat that a dog liked and in addition to Shaggy we have this pretty good detailed headless horseman here He's as, as articulated as the uh, skeleton man with his elbows and knees bending. But his costume is way better. It's made out of some kind of rubber, but it still holds its form. Might take a little bit to get him to stand up. And Shaggy, quaking in his boots. Nothing to it. Here we have the Headless Horseman and Shaggy Rogers from Scooby-Doo 50th Anniversary Walmart Exclusive. Rook Rose Raggy, don't rook behind you. Zoinks! Thanks for joining us today on Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic eventually. Be sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And join us next time when I open up a couple more mystery inks, Velma and Daphne, and unleash the monsters within. See y'all later.